I'm composer Alex Weiser from Kettle Corn New Music, and I'm here today with Emily Cooley and New Morska at Avalok Farm Music Institute. We're just going to talk about popcorn and, and music. music. <laughs> so the first thing I want to ask you guys is what is your relationship to popcorn, or kettle corn specifically? How do you feel about it? What role does it play in your life? How much time is on this on this bowl here? <laughs> I would say uh, popcorn is certainly the official snack slash meal of choice for New Morse Code as an ensemble. Yes, and it's definitely, per speaking personally, on the record, it's one of my favorite foods. Kettle corn, to me, is also a delicious food, and I know that New Morse Code approves of kettle corn in an official capacity and an unofficial capacity. Although I've never made kettle corn. So maybe you guys can tell us about the history of New Morse Code as a group, and a little bit about what you guys do. Um, well, I guess we, we really formed this group um, with a concept of wanting to play music with each other. And where it's taking us, has taken and taking us, is to, to be able to work with some of our best friends and some of the most interesting composers that we know of. And so what we've been doing is working with composers kind of over a long period of time, developing a friendship, and what we found is that the, the pieces that we've been able to, to, to premiere or play or help create have been like a really representative uh, living document of our, of our friendship. Next question, can each of you talk to me about experiences that you had um, listening to music or experiencing music outside of the typical classical music concert hall experience. For me personally, the kettle corn model kind of resonates, you know, because I know that you've, you've all talked about sitting around during, during college, is that mm -hmm. right? Eating kettle corn, listening to great music, getting to know each other's music, just getting to know what's out there. Mm -hmm. And for me, this isn't really a public forum, but that's the way I got to know a ton of, of chamber music, which is my whole specialty. I mean. Um, in college, and high school, getting together with friends. It's a really old idea, but just taking out Beethoven string quartets and reading through them, taking out uh, pieces that friends have written and reading through them, getting together and listening to music. Um, I think that's like a really great way to find out. To me, that, that's one, one way that I got to know a whole bunch of pieces I didn't even know existed. Um, so that I really relate to that kind of just hanging out, sharing model. Yeah. For me, what I agree with what Hannah says, but it, what it does is that it makes music that's about interaction interactive, and it it stops you from that that like sense of fear or like unknowing that you might have at like a at a typical classical music concert, where if, if you feel you feel like if I don't know what's going on, I'm stupid or that the, the setting is so formal that, that you can't actually enjoy the music. And what I think is what was really great is the way in which the performers interact with the, the people listening and the, the people at the concert interact too, and it just creates a, a really cool sense of community. And that, I guess that would be possible without kettle corn and beer, but the kettle corn and the beer is really an enabler. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the greatest things about having your own ensemble um, is that we get to choose what we play and we choose to play pieces we really love, you know, so that our whole purpose in playing is basically to just be like, hey guys, this piece is awesome. We want you to listen to it, we want to share it with you, we want, we want to show you what it's about. So to me, as an audience member or as a performer, any time that I can be in a situation where that feeling can be just like expressed and we don't have to sort of pretend that we, you know, are interacting with the audience or keep some sort of professional veneer, but it can be as simple as just talking to the audience or just being in the same room after the concert or um, whether it's in a bar or in a concert hall, just the, I, I like to be in a situation where we can just fully express our enthusiasm for the music and, and, and hear what people think afterward. Mm -hmm. New Morse Code, thank you so much for having us over. It's been a real pleasure talking with you. Well, we're happy to have you It's here. been a real pleasure talking, popping. Yeah. We're really looking forward to hearing you on September 19th at the Demetta Center. So, so we're looking yeah. forward to being September, there yes. September 19th.
at the Demena Center. What day was that coming again? September, September 19. 19th. Where is it? <laughs> the Demena Center. <laughs> See you there. Does the five second rule apply <laughs> if the popcorn kernel is covered in a sticky substance? <laughs> <laughs>